scrapper smooth here. So this video is going to be on uh, silver oxide batteries. Um, all right, so these batteries are a little bit tricky. Um, there's a few quick ways to help sort out those batteries if you have a lot of them. Uh, if you don't have a lot of them, it makes it more difficult. Um, the first step in sorting out uh, the silver oxide batteries is anything larger than a dime is not silver oxide. Um, so you can make like um, you can buy like half inch mesh uh, screen and make like a little tray out of it and just use that to quickly sort through all your batteries that you have if you have a lot. Of them. Um, so anything half inch or bigger, dime size, not silver. Uh, the next thing you want to do is remove any batteries that are labeled A, C, D, E, L, or 3 volt, um, and the ones labeled M. Now, if it looks really old and it has an M on it, chances are it's a mercury type battery, and you want to dispose of those carefully. Timex makes a newer battery that has, um, has an M and sometimes an MA on it. And if it's 1.55 volts, then it's a silver oxide battery. All silver oxide batteries are 1.55 volts. Um, all right, so the next step is you're going to want to remove all watch batteries that are stamped silver oxide, silver oxide cell, silver cell, or silver cell. Um, from a few companies that I've done some research on and spoken to, uh, it's been it's been tested that many of these watch batteries, that in, well, in just about every case they've, they've tested the ones that are stamped that were fake. Plain and simple. Uh, so if you want to, you know, if you're going to process them yourself, you can stick them aside. It's probably not going to hurt anything, but don't expect to get anything from them. Now you're going to want to remove all watch batteries that are labeled in Chinese. Chinese manufacturers use 50% less silver and their silver oxide watch batteries and some use as much as 90% less silver so it makes it so little that's not worth recovering from. Now there's a silver oxide watch battery list and you can find this at uh, watchbatterybuyers.com that's one of the sites that I use it, it's very dependable they have a lot of great information on there and they have this whole list of which batteries are all silver oxide. I don't know if you want to freeze the, pause the screen right there and take a look at it, but there's quite a few, um, but mostly from just a few different manufacturers. So like Citizen, Duracell, Energizer, EverReady, Rayovac, Renata, Varda, Maxell, Panasonic, Sony, Toshiba, Seiko, uh, so again, this is not an exhaustive list, um, and soon this company is going to be adding lists from companies like Bulova, GP, IEC, and Timex, um, but for now, this is a great list of companies that, that take the silver oxide batteries. Now, companies like this will buy them from you, so if you don't want to mess with nitric acid, check out this website, and um, make sure you separate all of your, your batteries out well send them in. They also buy you know, gold, uh, gold filled and gold plated scrap materials like, uh, like jewelry, wash bands, that kind of thing, uh, glass frames, pocket watches. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. They pay good prices. And if you are going to try and recover the silver yourself from these batteries, um, I don't because it requires nitric acid, which I don't use, uh, but there's a YouTuber out there. His name is Drew Metalsmith, and I'm going to put a link to his video here. So click here. And that'll take you to his video um, on recovering. I, I think it's a two-part series, so you might need to, to check that. I'll, I'll check it. If, if there's two, I'll put both of them there. And I'll also put a link to this website in the video description, which is located down here. All right. So that's it for watch batteries and silver. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot. I'll try and answer. Uh, I'm still learning about this myself, so I may not be able to be too helpful. Uh, but I'll try. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you.